Thank you, Mr. President. Lamo to GCMP, HAC, Forum Asia, and Civicus welcome the government of Timor-Leste engagement with UPR process. Civil society played a critical role in shaping Timor-Leste sovereignty and strengthening democracy, and human rights defenders, journalists, and other civil society members are largely able to work without fear of repression. However, there is still more to be done to strengthen the right of the freedom of expression. Some journalists have faced threats and some practice self-censorship to deal with the such intimidation. We welcome that Timor-Leste has accepted a recommendation to revise the media law, which contains provision can undermine freedom of expression and media freedom. During the review, state also made recommendations in relation to attempt by the government to introduce the draft law and so further stifle freedom of expression, including the proposed criminal defamation law and cybercrime law. We are further alarmed by restriction on right to peaceful assembly and the arbitrary arrest of the protesters. Specifically, the government should implement the recommendation relating to the public space. Revise the media law to ensure it is in line with international standards and refrain introducing new laws of provision limiting either offline or online expression. Ensure that journalists and civil society organizations can work friendly and without further retribution of expressing critical opinion or covering topics that government may deem sensitive. Ensure that the human rights defenders are able to carry out their legitimate activities without fear and undue hindrance, obstruction or harassment, and adopt the specific law to ensure protection of human rights defenders. Amend the law of freedom assembly and demonstration to guarantee fully the right of the freedom of peaceful assembly in line with international law and standards. We thank you.